All right, so we have already set up our axes, and if you don't know how to do that, you should go watch that video. Today we're going to graph the ellipsoid x squared over 9 plus y squared over 16 plus z squared over 4 equals 1. And we're going to do it in the first quadrant, and then we're also going to do another one um, so we can kind of see what the whole thing looks like. When y and z are 0, then we have x squared over 9 is 1, so x is plus or minus 3. We'll plot the point x equals 3. When x and z are 0, then y squared equals 16, and we have the plot uh, points y equals plus or minus 4, so we'll plot the point uh, y equals 4. When x and y are 0, then z will be plus or minus 2, and so we'll plot the point z equals 2 on its coordinate axes. All right, so we're going to connect up the lines, um, the points x equals 3 with z equals 2, and then we'll connect up the point x equals 3 with y equals 4, and then finally z equals 2 with y equals 4. Now I'm drawing all of these as dotted lines because if you make a mistake, then it's just easier to correct, and besides which we're going to go over it in pen anyway, and so we'll just trace those out in pen now. And these are all of the traces that the shape makes with the coordinate planes. So now we are going to try to give it some three-dimensional shape. We are going to trace out lines parallel to some of the coordinate axes lines that we made. So we are making lines parallel to the XZ line that we made initially, and we're just going to repeat that shape over and over again, but just down the rest of it. So now we are going to do the same thing and make lines parallel to the initial YZ line. We will not do it um, parallel to the XY line, simply because if you do it in too many directions, it sort of mucks things up and actually makes it harder to see. And now we are tracing everything over in pen. If you initially made some sort of mistake with your lines in pencil, that's okay. When you go back over them with pen, they're easy to correct. So that's what our shape is going to look like in the first octet. Now we want to get an idea of what the whole thing looks like, and so we're going to plot the points again. First we'll start with the points in the y direction, so we'll plot y equals 4 and y equals negative 4, while x and z are 0. We'll plot x equals 3 and negative 3, while y and z are 0, and of course then z equals 2 and negative 2, while x and y are 0. Now, I think the easiest one to draw is the one that's sort of facing us straight on, the ellipse that's in the YZ plane, and we'll just trace that out again using a pencil and dotted lines so that it's easy to correct if we don't like the way that it looks. And now we'll do the ellipse in the XZ plane. And this is probably the hardest one to get right because of the perspective. And then finally, we'll do the ellipse that's in the XY plane. So now that we have all of those done again, once we're finished in pencil, we will go back over things in pen. We're just going to again draw the part that's in the first octant in pen so that we can see it really well. And then we'll use dotted lines for all of the other octants.
And so now we'll get do the same thing we did before, tracing things parallel to the xz plane and traces in the yz planes.